Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Getting Started in Schoology tutorial. Metro Nashville Public Schools is switching to a new LMS. That's Learning Management System, called Schoology. This means that the course listed in the email that you received that directed you to this tutorial will not be in Blackboard, and will use Schoology instead. Selecting the Next button that will appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen will start a screen capture tutorial that will walk you through the login process and show you how to access the orientation course that you'll need to complete before you can get started in the course for which you've registered. If you run into difficulties along the way, then feel free to contact your teacher or the virtual school for assistance with getting started. As we get started, you might want to work right next to this tutorial. So take a second to go ahead and maybe scale down the window so that you can see it on one half of your screen and maybe work in a different web browser or different window on another piece of the screen. That way you can kind of work in tandem with this tutorial and not miss any steps. However you choose to do it is totally up to you. We just want to make sure that you know how to log into Schoology. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is have a web browser open. And we're going to need to go to the right URL, or web address. Currently, I'm at Google's homepage at google.com. So where we need to go is going to be Microsoft's login for their Office 365 platform. And don't worry, you do have a Microsoft Office 365 account as long as you're an enrolled student in Metro Nashville Public Schools. Here's how you get there. You want to drop in this address, login.microsoftonline.com. And once you select this, it'll take us right to the login page. Once you arrive at your login page, you should see a page that looks very similar to mine, a spot with a sign-in that Microsoft wants you to drop in your MNPS email information into so that you can log into your Office 365 account. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I don't even know what my MNPS email information is, or how to find it. Fortunately for you, we can help you out with that. But to do that, let's bring up some information for a fictitious student. Here, we have a fictitious student named Jonathan Chapman, and their student ID number, that 190 number of theirs, would be 190-123-456. So now that we have this information together, we can go ahead and start to piece together what their MNPS email would look like. Once we're back here and we're thinking on the screen, we need to think, all right, how is this email structured? Well, we know that it's going to be the full first name. So we got Jonathan. The last name's initial, C and then the last five digits of their 190 number. Now, you may know that already, or you may want to do it like this. 190, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This was our fictitious student's 190 number. And that way we can count off five digits, these last five, and then backspace over the rest. Now, we're not done yet. As complicated as that was, it gets easier from here because now we need to tell Microsoft where this email is associated. So we'll say at mnpsk12.org. So from here we have the full email address. It's going to be your first name, the initial of your last name, then the last five digits of your 190 student ID number at mnpsk12.org. This is going to be the address that you're going to want to use. Now before we leave this page, you might want to consider bookmarking it. I'm using Firefox, so I have the ability to bookmark right here in my address bar, or I could even put it in what they refer to as the pocket. Just something to make it easier to get back to this login page without having to type in login.microsoftonline.com over and over again. But anyway, we've got our email address information in, so we'd go ahead and select Next. Once you do this, it's going to see, hey, wait a minute, you're affiliated with Metro Nashville Public Schools. What's that password of yours? Your initial password is probably going to be your 190 number. 
unless you had previously changed your password during the last school term. So for this instance, it is going to be that 190 number. So we'll say 190, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And from here, we'd go ahead and press the sign in option. Once we select the sign in option, it might ask us if we want to save this information to our browser, and we can if we want or we don't have to. It's totally up to us. But at this point, we're in the Office 365 account. And as we look at our different apps, we don't see anything for Schoology. Not yet, anyway. If you go to what's referred to as the waffle on this upper left hand corner, you'll find the apps and you can select the option for all apps. Once you do that, you'll see there's an admin selected app called Schoology, but if you don't see it there, you'll also see it at the bottom of this scroll list. These three dots on the right hand side indicate that you can pin it to the launcher. And by pinning it to the launcher, what that does is when we go to the waffle next time, it puts it up here a little easier to click, a little easier to get into. So that's all we need to do. We're going to select it, and we're already going to be logged into Schoology once it comes up. The idea here is that this is a single sign-on option. As long as you're signed into Office 365, it will automatically sign you in to Schoology. Hip hip hooray! We've officially logged in to Schoology. And if you're familiar at all with our old learning management system, Blackboard, then you'll notice that things look very different indeed. And we will go over all of the pieces to the Schoology puzzle once we get you into the orientation course. But before we can do any of the investigating of Schoology, we've got to get you enrolled. So the way this is going to happen is you're going to want to select the Courses option from this blue ribbon at the top of the page. When you do, you'll see any courses in which you're enrolled. In fact, our fictitious student is only enrolled in one other course. And we can tell that this is a virtual school course because we see the virtual school logo above the course name. But it's not the course we're looking for. It's personal finance. So how do we get into the orientation course? We've got to join it. To join a course, what we're going to need to do is select the My Courses option, this little link that kind of hides over on the right hand side. Once you select it, you'll see a vertical list without any of the imagery that tells you exactly which courses you're enrolled. So we don't see what we want, we don't see anything about orientation, let's go ahead and select the option to join a course. Now at this point, you're going to want to put in that access code that was sent to you in the welcome email from the MNPS Virtual School. So we'll go ahead and put that code in now. Once we have our code in, we'll go ahead and select the join option. Once it joins, it'll tell you. You'll see a green success logo at the top that says you have successfully joined the course and we now see that we have access to the MNPS Virtual School Student Orientation. Now mine says Fall 2018 and it's going to say this because Fall 2018 just happens to be when this tutorial was created. However, if yours says spring or fall or spring of a different year, that's totally okay, as long as you see that this is the MNPS Virtual School Student Orientation, you're in good shape. So let's go back to that home landing page. How are we going to do that? What we'll do is we'll select this Metro Nashville Public Schools logo, and that'll take us back to our home landing page. And if we check our courses option, we do indeed see that we have two courses, both virtual school courses because I can see the virtual school logos. So let's go ahead and select this orientation course. Once you select it, you'll see this is what the typical MNPS virtual school course is going to look like. My lessons, my assignments, all the good things that come with the course. To get started in your orientation course, you're going to want to select the My Lessons option. And that'll take you to a page that will allow you to select modules and lessons within those modules so that you can get started and eventually complete the orientation course. If you have any issues, don't hesitate to let the MNPS Virtual School Administration know. The easiest way to do that is to select the option to submit a help ticket. 
If you go to My Resources, the very first option is Help Me. And if you select Help Me, it will take you to the MNPS Virtual School webpage. Not only the webpage, but the Help section. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to submit a technical help ticket. The help desk will monitor these tickets as they come in and will get back to you within 24 hours to help you iron out any wrinkles you may have. So again, if you're ready, you want to go ahead and select that My Lessons option and get started. If you have any questions, let us know. Other than that, have a great rest of your day and good luck to you.